Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. Today we have another experiment for you guys and that is testing and playing around with warheads. And we want to find and identify what makes warheads explode. So as always when we're doing experiments and tests we are in our sandbox playground with all our experiments that we've done previously. And of course some new ones which we're going to test today and that is again warheads. So first things first, warheads, yes, they can explode, but how, what makes it explode? So going into the control panel as a quick, really quick tutorial, the options here are as follows, where you can set a detonation time, usually it's default 10 seconds, you can start the countdown, stop the countdown, and of course arm the warhead and hit detonate. So that's the basic understanding of the controls for the warheads. But if you didn't know, you must arm the warhead in order for it to explode, either by weapon or any or some other ways of contact, which we're going to find out in a bit later. But as you see here, this one here is not armed and I can shoot this a couple of times and nothing's going to happen to it. Or I shouldn't say nothing, but it'll be damaged and not explode. As you can see here, it is ticking down on the components that are required every time I shoot it but once I shoot it down all the way it's not gonna cause a big explosion it exploded but look at this platform where it just did minor damage but if you had it equipped or activated with the armed warhead the moment you shoot it a couple times or maybe even once it's gonna cause a big boom as you see there so those are the two differences in terms of armed and unarmed warheads. And of course you can set warheads off easily by timer blocks or if you saw an in intro, a sensor block. Uh, I wouldn't be able to show you again because that platform has been destroyed. But today I wanted to figure out how we can detonate warheads that are armed using multiple types of equipment. And that is going to be basically dropping a load of ore dropping a merge block, dropping just a block that's being held by landing gears, a battery which we know is a lot heavier than a regular block, and if we come over to this side, we're going to see if we can drop a wheel that's connected to the suspension, we can also drop the hinge part off of a hinge, and we're going to drop some piston heads from the piston itself, and last but not least we're going to drop the rotor head off of a rotor. Well that's not all but we're going to try these items first and if we can think of other things to drop of course we're going to end up dropping those as well. But I didn't want to drop each and every item one by one so if you look at all these items yes we could drop every little thing we wanted to. Really no point to be honest if, if the light armor block blows it up then we know any almost any of those can technically blow it up as well. Alright, so the first thing to do is make sure these warheads are active, meaning if they're armed. So it, they look armed. I believe I armed them all already. The first test is to drop some ore, basically. And I have this collector collect all of it. I just needed to just drop uh, or throw away as it's called. So go into the connector and hit throw out on. And it's going to drop a large amount of ore, which I have up there stone. And let's see if it blows up the warhead. And it does. Interesting. So or as much as it's falling down, it triggers the warhead pretty easily. But as we've done in the past with warheads, a small little tap of anything <laughs> kind of explodes it anyways. But that was just an initial test to see if that worked out. And now we're going to test to see if the merge block will work. I'm assuming it does because it is, again, something with mass. And it's going to be able to trigger it once it touches the armed warhead. So I'm going to turn off the war, uh, merge block and see it drop. And of course, as we expect it, it will explode. Alright, so that means a light armor block will likely blow it up as well. So these are kind of some things that I didn't really care to repeat. But 
for the sake of it, let's just try it anyways. We're going to unlock there. And once it hits a block, it should explode as expected. And it does. So as simple as that, I'm pretty sure the battery will explode as well. So we're going to drop that. Battery will blow it up for sure. As expected. But here, I didn't mention it earlier, but we're going to throw some items in here and let the collector drop some stuff. And in terms of stuff, I mean like steel plates, um, large steel tubes, those kind of things. All right, so I have some steel plates up top on the connector and I'm just going to hit throw out and let's see if it detonates the warhead. This one I'm interested in because I'm not too sure if it will, to be honest. So let's hit throw out and wait for them steel plates to drop. Wow, interesting. So that actually does explode it, which is interesting. Yeah, I guess anything with mass would probably do it, right? So that was uh, a bit of a drop with um, a lot of, I want to say, steel plates. But what if I just throw one steel plate? All right, so now I loaded this one up with just one steel plate. We'll throw it out and see what happens. And it detonates it. Huh. So I guess pretty much anything will detonate it in that case. Then that means I'm pretty sure the rest of this will be kind of repetitive in terms of thinking if it's going to explode or not. But why not test it out for the hell of it anyways? So now we have a wheel here and what we can do is... Alright, so it looks like we just got to take out the suspension. Drop the wheel and let's see if it makes the warhead explode. Um... No. <laughs> so that's interesting. It actually just went right through it for some reason. Interesting. So what if we decided to just drop a wheel, like a mass wheel, a, a regular wheel, so that has somewhat of a mass. So that's going to be something like this. We're just going to drop it right there. I'm pretty sure that will explode it if it, if actually hit it, <laughs> to be honest. So let's grab a big one again. All right, so we're going to put it up right around here. We'll drop it and see if it explodes the warhead. I think it would. Yep. So the wheel that's on the suspension, dropping it for whatever reason, goes right through it. So that's a bit curious, a little bit odd. And let's try it, the hinge parts. I'm pretty sure if one steel plate can detonate, then the warhead I'm pretty sure these hinge parts rotor parts and pistons will detonate as well so that actually did work here we have the piston head which is fairly heavy too so we're gonna drop that guy on here which we can't detach so we're gonna have to go up here we'll just take out the piston leave the head and that of course should blow it up as expected and lastly, we have the rotor head of a rotor. And of course, that again should definitely be able to explode the warhead as well. Boom. Alright, so pretty much everything we tested right now explodes it. I guess anything that has kind of a mass will explode the warhead. The only curious one was the attached wheel from a uh, suspension. So if you detach the suspension, let the wheel drop, apparently that doesn't make it explode. I'm not sure why it did that, but it was kind of interesting, to be honest. Alright, so other ways to explode your warheads. Of course, we already tried the bullets. That worked out. But what about thrusters? So I'm pretty sure thrusters will blow it up because it does cause damage. But how quickly will it blow it up is the biggest question. So with the hydrogen thruster, as we call it, it takes seven blocks away to blow up. So what if we put it on the seventh block? What? How quickly will it blow up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll be right there. All right. So we armed the warhead. We put it next to the thruster. We're going to turn on the thruster and see if this will explode especially on the last distance that it can damage off of the hydrogen thruster itself so we're going to scroll to the hydrogen thruster the large one 
turn it on and see if it explodes. Alright, so initially doesn't seem like it's doing too much. Huh. Huh. Oh, there we go. So it took some time because it was on the last thruster for it to explode. So thrusters definitely do make things explode. Well, makes the warhead explode. And which makes sense because it does cause damage on blocks. So I would assume all these other ones will explode too. With no, you know, really questions asked. If we just put this on, put this guy armed, turn on the atmospheric thruster, which is this one, and I'm sure it'll explode eventually. As so. So pretty much anything makes a warhead explode. If I can arm a warhead and drop it, I'm pretty sure that will explode as well. Actually, yeah, that's, we tried that before and that's through um, the conveyor belt I did with the warheads. So now we can test a little bit of the smaller grid. So let's test a smaller grid of the thrusters here. So we're not going to use a small warhead because that's going to be boring. We're going to use a large warhead and We'll just drop it. We're gonna drop it right there. Right into the thick of things. We're gonna find a control panel, arm it. And we're gonna turn on that small thruster and see if it will cause any damage to it or blow it up. It should, but again, this is a small grid thrusters versus a large grid warheads. Which I'm not too sure if it will do anything, but I'm thinking it probably will. Alright, turn on the thrusting override. It's cooking the warhead a little bit. It's not causing any damage. It's not on the best placement, so I'm not sure if that's going to do anything. Oh, spoke too soon. And it caused such a big hoe. Alright, so that pretty much concludes my random testing of warheads. Pretty much anything will make it explode, which is really interesting. So it's very sensitive for the most part. And the only thing I haven't tested yet is pretty much equipment. So if I arm this guy, if we use a welder, it won't blow up because I guess that's how you, because you weld it up basically. If you use a grinder, it'll grind it down, which makes sense. So it won't blow up. But if you use a drill, is it gonna blow up? And the answer is yes. So a drill will potentially or will blow up a warhead if armed. If it's not armed, yeah, it'll blow it up too, but it's not gonna cause a great explosion such as that. And I'm pretty sure, and if you probably guessed it, if I crashed into a warhead, it will explode as well. But for the sake of it, we're gonna just try it out anyways. Yep. All right. So pretty again, pretty much anything makes the warhead explode, which is pretty much accurate, I would think. A one bullet can explode it. One single steel plate could explode it. So pretty much anything will kind of make that thing explode, regardless. All right. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys know an armed warhead. Once it gets collided with something with mass, I'm pretty sure it was gonna blow up. But I just wanted to test out what items would actually make it blow up and what may not. Alright, so that's it for another pointless experiment that I really want to try to find out what makes a warhead blow up for myself, but I want to share with you guys as well. So of course, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our channel, leave us some comments, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.